I was browsing the internet for success quotes before this particular interview, and I came across this one. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. And certainly this particular quote is completely true and fits in when we talk about journey of Drishti Jain, who has recently made into the big Shahid Sukhdev College of Business Studies. And this journey has been immensely fantastic. Guys, let me tell you, I mean, uh, you uh, would have already met her when we were talking about, uh, when we had taken the interview for IPM Rothak. And let me tell you all guys that, you know, she cracked IPM Rothak and then she showed a dare. I will get inside Shahid Sukhdev College of Business Studies or I'm in Dor. I'm not going to get inside any other college apart from these two. Welcome over here, Drishti, once again. And we have been calling you again and again for so many things. And that's, uh, th that's the beauty that, you know, we get attached to our students immensely. So if you can give a brief about your journey to the people who are listening to you right now, it will be great for them. First of all, thank you, sir, for the congratulations. As you have said that the success is uh, achieved by having small, small steps. Yes, my definite, my journey has also been achieved by taking small, small steps each day. I increased my target and that helped me achieve the final destination, Shahid Sukhdev College of Business Studies. If you can give, uh, you know, if you can elaborate over there. So how has been your journey? I mean, how... Uh, were you working day in and day out? What was your concentration at that point of time? So that, you know, that gives a motivation up to the students who are listening to you right now and are going to give the examination in the year 2022 and 23 in particular. So, sir, I was like in 12th, uh, beginning from 12th until now, the journey had been very rigorous and very difficult because there were, uh, there were uncertainties at each step. Like in 12th also, there were uncertainties about board. Like you have to prepare for 12th also and for the entrance also. So the journey had been very challenging. But I, with I with the help of my support of my parents and with my consistent hard work and efforts, I was able to cope up with it. Like my parents were the constant motivation for me throughout my journey. They kept me very, very motivated. For the entire day, I... You, I decided to set uh, small, small targets for myself and uh, did my best to achieve uh, for the entire day. Like I didn't, I mean, I never thought that I would have to do it for the entire day. But if I set the target of that day, then I have to do it for the entire day. Great, great, great. I think uh, that sums up a lot, you know. So, you know, you should not have the goals, but you have small targets also for you. So what she was planning a day in advance that we always suggest to our students as well. You know, she was planning something that I need to do this particular thing today itself. And OK, if it takes two hours, three hours, four hours, so sometimes it may be taking five hours. So some, sometimes it may even take one hour and it, the work gets completed. And all these targets, when sum up, you are reaching the goals which you have set for self now. Let me brief about the journey to the audience as well, because uh, she told about her, you know, workaholic attitude, in fact, industrious attitude, that is the right word, it should be used over here. Drishti could not make into I am Indoor. And that was a day when we had a setback, because we had, you know, seven, eight students who could not make into I am Indoor just by one or two marks, and Drishti was one of them. But then a result of uh, 12 standard came out and she could score 99.8% marks over there, then she could make into IPM Rothak. IPM Rothak, we prepared her for the interview part. She cleared that part also. She, she got the admissions for uh, IPM Rothak uh, from I am Rothak. But she took a dare that I will be going only inside the top two best colleges of the country when it comes to the MBA. And then she worked very hard for Delhi University joint admission test. And... Really, we were there for constant motivation at that point of time. We were there for the constant academic help at that point of time. But we always tell to the students, we need your commitments. She gave her commitment, and now you can see the result. She has finally made it to Shahid Sukhdev College of Business Studies. Now, academically, we'll break up this particular interview, and I'll be asking you the questions related to the individual subjects so that students can get, ben get benefited from you. And Drishti is the right prototype because, you know, she 
did fairly well in 12 boards. She did fairly well in all the examinations. Only she could not make into I am in the that two by two marks. And really, we are very proud of her. So, Dishti, how did you prepare for verbal ability section or general English sec section of all the examinations? If you can give a brief on that particular thing. So, sir, verbal ability section is not just a one day show. Like you need to have a consistent, uh, you need to maintain consistency in verbal ability section. Like you learn everything new, new thing every day. Okay. Like I knew that verbal ability section is something that is, you can't skip it. So verbal ability for the preparation of verbal ability section, I uh, practice RCs daily throughout my year of the whole entire year of preparation and the vocabulary part. I also tried to cover at least five to 10 words daily okay. that that really helped me in DUJAT because specifically in DUJAT, uh, we get specific vocabulary questions like the tell the antonym of it, like the tell the synonym of it. Uh, the, uh, my This uh, routine helped me in cracking the uh, that particular section of DUJAT. Okay, great, great. So, uh, you know, her routine for verbal ability part or general English segment of DUJAT was fixed. And not only for DUJAT, for all the examinations after 12th was fixed. And that routine has given that particular, those number of marks which were desired for this particular uh, segment. Now, let, let me ask you this particular thing. Logical reasoning is one more segment which you could not give in I am in law at that point of time, but what I have perturbed you over here. So how did you deal with that logical reasoning part? So sir, logical reasoning part was like one of my favorite sections. Okay. Logical reasoning, the part of some part of logical reasoning, I was able to prepare along with my IP preparation. Like in I am Rotak, there is a great part of great weightage of logical reasoning that helped me in my DUJAT uh, preparation as well. The things that I was lacking behind were was I I was able to cope up with the help of the my teachers like Danish sir and Raghavendra sir helped me a lot and they told me a new they told me new approaches. Okay. for the questions that helped me uh, quickly solve the set during my examination. So this this all parts also makes clear. So Raghavind sir and Danish sir was a constant support over there. So she is intelligent. She has proven that. But you know, she may be using some approaches which may not be correct. And definitely when you're choosing a different approach that's going to help you. So seeking mentors help, be it Raghavind sir or Danish sir at that point of time has definitely helped her out. Uh, in the logical reasoning section. And this is uh, the thing which which makes supergrads. You know, we are giving individual attention to the students. And definitely, uh, to all the supergrad students from here, I'll insist, seek mentors help wherever you're finding tough for yourself. Now, uh, let's talk about the tougher part, mathematics segment. How do you deal with the mathematics and higher mathematics segment? Because mathematics is something which bothers many students. Yes, sir. I agree with it. Mathematics is a challenging section, but if you don't think it as a burden, then if you think it as a burden, then it would be a challenging for it. But if you uh, do it with fun, then it's become easy to tackle with this section. And the uh, and this approach I get to know from uh, Anil sir and Pankaj sir. They help me like love mathematics. Oh, great. <laughs> and the approach they told was much easier to solve than the approach that I followed while solving those questions. Okay, I'll bring in one more question over here because you know, Drishti is, uh, ha Drishti has had waters from everywhere. So Drishti scored 99.8% marks in 12 ports. She could crack few of the finest colleges of the country. So she broke that notion, you know, sir, I'm 12th ki padhai pe dhyan ne, ya fir entrances pe de hame samaj mein nahi aata. So how did you manage both things and how you could achieve best of both the parts definitely sir it was a difficult task and a challenging one too but yeah that as i mentioned earlier like i the small small targets approach helped me a lot which i learned okay. which definitely i learned from my teachers itself okay great so she was uh you know uh, she was prepared with the targets so she kept targets for self i think she would have made some targets for the board examination that would be completely different from the target she could have made for the entrances. She kept them separate and definitely these targets have made her achieve both the feats. So guys, if you have this query in mind every time that what should I do? I mean, 12 board is a tough thing. How am I going to prepare for the entrances together with this? 
she is a perfect example who did it and definitely you can follow her approach of making targets for self now yes sir balance uh, maintaining balance is also one of the crucial part of it and self motivation is also one thing that keeps you driving throughout the journey okay so this is also one very significant area uh, you know unless until you are motivated and you keep the things up every time whenever you fall you brush up your knees jump up and run again nothing is going to work out for you guys now next question coming to you drishti so when you talk about the entrances after 12 there is one more aspect which 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 counts immensely and that is the interview segment or the personality development segment or the skill assessment round segment and you know uh, that is a very very crucial part because you know uh, uh, drishti could clear it for i am rotak and definitely she can help you over there as well drishti what approach did you uh, take that point of time how were your mentors helpful for you at that point of time so my mentors part have been the greatest biggest part in my interview preparation and my skill development like the interview preparation with uh, rahul sir like you have helped me a lot in my de- personality development like it boost my self confidence i got to know some of the places where i was lacking behind but yeah that i was able to cope up with the support of my teachers that helped me is the interview ipm rotak interview with flying colors okay so that's great i think uh, uh, the other uh, the audience which may not be knowing what what feedback she is talking exactly about let me tell them that you know after every interview we were giving them the individual feedbacks on which students used to work and come out uh, come in for the second round for the same so this was the approach which we had uh, taken in interview rounds preparation now uh, let me ask you this particular question are you thrilled or excited getting inside one of the asia's best college uh, shahid sukhdev college of business studies how do you look up to this particular college sir i am really very excited going into this college like it's one of the best colleges of asia like it uh, the courses that are offered uh, at the college uh, at the institution are really e- unique in themselves like the bba fia course and the bms course are unique in themselves things that acts as a motivation of going into these colleges like the unique program offered at these colleges great great okay let me ask you uh, this particular question why are you going to suggest supergrads to the students listening to you right now what is that one reason because of which they should be joining supergrads for the year 2022 and 23 preparations so there is not just only one reason but there are many more that i would like uh, many more reasons of which i would like to suggest supergrads to all the students who are listening to this interview first of all the dedication of the teachers the motive uh, the constant motivation that you get to the te- uh, get from the teachers that drives you throughout the journey the one on one mentoring that you get from the teachers is also very great and motivating and also the basic uh, the concept clarity part of the teachers is very great like uh, they clear the concepts from the ground level and then they take you to the higher level up to the most difficult questions like uh, related to the exams be it i am in the rotak or dujat level they make you prepare uh, uh, according to the difficulty level of the exams also the mock test that we get during the preparation gave you the taste of the actual examination like the uh, some of the questions that i got into got into the exams were similar to the one i have practiced during my mocks or i have asked out from the teachers like teachers clear uh, are available almost 20 24 7 round the clock basis to clear our doubts like i remember asking the doubt from my teacher just a day before in the day, day before my dujat examination in previous uh, in the night before and like the sir was available and uh, and he cleared my doubt as well great great so uh, to sum up i would like to say uh, that you know there's an ecosystem there's an ecosystem that's going to help you from scratch to finish so supergrads has developed that ecosystem what drishti was talking about uh, right now and that ecosystem is going to help you be it mentorship be it academic help be it doubt clearing support uh, be it interview preparation so there is a complete ecosystem that's going to completely help you out and help you come up with the flying colors finally last question coming to you drishti what advice so one advice which you think 
you are going to give to the students and going to be very very helpful for them for their careers what is that one advice one advice is please uh, be remain what uh, be remain what motivated okay uh, self motivation is one of the best thing that drives you throughout your journey and uh, follow the advice that has been given to you by your mentors be it your parents or the teachers at your institution they have uh, they are the experienced person and who and they know what uh, what is the best thing for you and they and they can help uh, they can really help you a lot in your journey i think it has been a great interview drishti and really uh, your advice is also uh, worth to look up to definitely this is humility which speaking right now uh, so she told you guys that you know remain self motivated listen to your seniors definitely they had their journey and from their journey they are giving you something in return and let me tell you guys this journey of drishti showcases one very crucial thing that you know there'll be highs there'll be lows there'll be disappointments there'll be uh, you know there'll be rejuvenations there'll be success there'll be there'll be everything in the path just love the journey and leave the rest to the god that's what we uh, we are made for thank you thank you drishti for this wonderful uh, interview I, i'm sure that's going to help the audience immensely thank you thank you sir for the great it was a nice discussion with you thank you